What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. And today we're going to discuss air conditioning. We're going to talk about cooling your hardware. Is it worth it? Why cool your hardware? What are the thoughts behind it? Why people say yes and why people say no? Well, stay tuned, guys, and let's learn about it. With Verus, the possibilities are endless. Verus is building the future of a decentralized, self-sovereign, quantum-ready private ID and global currency that is ready for the world. It's your identity upgrade for a digital world. It's Verus ID. Download the free software at Verus.io and register your Verus ID today. So, the first thing we've got to consider is where are you in the world? What temperatures do you have? Is it cold? You know, if it's cold, this is something you really don't have to worry about too much. You definitely don't even need an air conditioning system uh, at all. If you have temperatures that are going to get too hot, uh, then we do need to consider air conditioning. So traditionally, a data center, you would want to keep the temperatures. At, they were about 75, 80 degrees, 78 degrees is what people would keep their data centers at. And more and more studies have come out that have proved to cilia being capable of being just fine of running at 84 degrees, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So thinking 85 degrees uh, for your processors, your RAM, your uh, graphics cards, and everything else that is running, uh, it was a good number. So I try to stay about 85 degrees as a high. It's okay if it gets as high as 90, 95 for short periods throughout the day. So if you're kind of really up north, you know, you might get night a few 90 degree days, say five or so 90 degree days, 10 90 degree days, 95 degree days. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not going to be that big of a deal for you. Now, these things are also if you are in one of say a midwet state or something like that, and you might have a different type of air. You're, you have to know if your air is humi has high humidity or low humidity. So if you're, as an example, in a desert climate, then you can use what's known as a swamp cooler in order to cool your equipment. And you're actually going to be putting humidity back into the air. So cooling in a very dry uh, climate is actually not the most important thing. It's adding the humidity back into the air, which will reduce static electricity. The drier it is, the further a, start a static electricity spark can travel. So in dry climates, you're going to want to consider using a swamp cooler, um, if not for the cooling purposes, is at least to put some humidity back in the air. You want to keep it around 25 or so percent, 30 percent, and that would also help cool off the air. Now, if you're in a place like where we are, which is North Carolina, and it's kind of humid, you're going to have to use uh, more of a traditional AC system, which is going to use refrigerants instead of a swamp cooler. A swamp cooler just takes the water passing over a fan and adds moisture to the air, and that's what's cooling the air is the air either being having moisture added to it or by having moisture taken from it and this is what chills the air in that process so it can happen either way and again it's going to depend on where you're at for us uh, we get up to 100 degree days maybe 10 days a year uh, we get 95 days pretty easy 10 days a year so we get a month of 90 up to 100 so it made sense to put the air conditioning in here especially that we could run it three to four months out of the year. The other years, we did not run the air conditioning. So in my opinion, I believe that it was worth putting it here, especially for the long-term projection. If you're going to want to ride your hardware till it dies, get three, four years out of it, uh, as you saw in some of my other videos, I have conditioned hardware that is three, four years, I think four years old, easy, running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So. And I've got hardware that's not been conditioned, and it will burn out in two years. It just doesn't last. So if you guys want to double your life expectancy, it's definitely going to be worth putting in an air conditioning, especially if you're in it for the long haul. If you watch some of my other videos, I talk about adding solar to help compensate or uh, adjust some of your power bills. If you're doing anything along those lines, owning the property, you really want to take that very seriously and condition your hardware so you get the most longevity out of it. Um, as you can see, everything in here is also filtered. 
as the, all the air comes in, this is single line filtered. You can actually do double line filtered. And we're looking at a rig that's been running for just about three years. Non-stop, 24 hours a day. It's clean. I mean, yes, there is a little bit of pollen on there. Those micro pollen does get through these filters. You could use higher end filters, but it's just not worth paying $20 a filter. Uh, so you try to get that real small pollen. Uh, you can also do on multiple filter sets, so that would be another lesson learned if you've watched my lesson learned video. Um, but I really don't see this really fine dust as much of a deal, uh, and it has not affected any of the hardware. And fortunately, out of almost all of this hardware, we've had very few cards die. I believe we've had one or two 1080 Ti's die, uh, two, one power supply only die, maybe two, uh, in this whole process. And all this is due to conditioning it. I have seen other facilities where they're not conditioned. The equipment is more uh, relevant to the exposed to the elements of outside, the humidity, the high humidity, the storms, um, extreme dryness, and several other factors. So again, you have to think long-term. I know crypto can ROI in six months to a year. People think so short-term. It's just not feasible to me. I think that you really need to think five years, give or take six years, and come up with a plan and a strategy. What if crypto winter comes? How are you going to pay the bills? What is it going to look like? And if you take into all these different considerations, guys, it'll be worth it. It will definitely be worth it. And you'll also be able to retain that much more value out of your hardware when it runs good, clean, and strong. You'll be able to get a higher resale value out of it. So in theory, you could probably recoup your air conditioning costs, or at least half of your air conditioning costs, straight out of just reselling the hardware in four years time frame because it still runs and it still looks great instead of having your hardware burn up in two years and dealing with that cycle. So there's several ways of mining, guys. There's several ways of playing the game, several strategies out there. And I personally believe the long-term strategy is the best way to go. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you did not see some of the other videos on this build or my other videos uh, about building your own data center, go ahead and check out the description link below and you'll be able to look into the other videos. Uh, thanks again, guys. Talk to you later on. See ya. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us, Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord.